For patients with heart failure, regardless of type, we are offering a device that can monitor the pressures inside of their heart that can potentially prevent them from being hospitalized with heart failure and can provide them early detection for rising pressures in the heart that preclude an exacerbation of their heart failure. It's a minimally invasive procedure, so we place it in our cath lab. I place the device uh, either through a um, femoral vein or through a jugular vein, but again, through a blood vessel, and you leave the hospital with usually a band-aid or a small bandage. Um, it's a same-day procedure. We measure the pressures inside of the, the heart, particularly on the right side, and we measure the pressures in the pulmonary artery but instead of just measuring the pressures and taking everything out, we actually leave a very small device inside the pulmonary artery that measures the pressures uh, inside the heart at the time of the procedure and then in perpetuity. So the device stays there permanently. It is a device that actually has no batteries. It has no functioning parts. Um, it's a sensor that only gets activated with an external signal. That external signal is generated from the device vice or a pillow essentially that a patient lays on once a day and it sends a radio signal with a certain frequency at the device. The device will vibrate at a certain frequency and based on the pressures inside the person's arteries, we can extrapolate what a person's filling pressures are. So remotely, whether you're skiing in the mountains or you know on a boat ride or um, at home, uh, we're able to determine what type of pressures you have in your heart. We can see what your normal pressures are and we can tell when the trend is going upward. The numbers get sent to us, get sent to our clinic, and one of our uh, nurse practitioners is actively looking at the numbers every day. Um, we get notifications when they fall out of range, and then we're able to identify whether it's something we need to intervene upon, whether we need to wait a day, um, and move forward. And so we contact the patient and let them know, hey, your pressures are a little elevated. Um, maybe you need to take an extra dose of your water pill, or maybe you need to take a, a increased dose of your blood pressure medicine. And usually that's enough to lower the pressures. And we try to troubleshoot. The device does a really good job of allowing us to manage patients with heart failure at far distances um, because we're, we're treating based off of the numbers. We're treating based off of what's actively happening inside of the heart. We can detect those elevated pressures two to four weeks prior to them becoming elevated, we could potentially prevent them from being hospitalized. And luckily, the clinical trials for the device have shown similar results. Again, anywhere to a 50% or greater reduction in hospitalization for heart failure.